welcome. I'm here with Greg Reimer, the president and CEO of Surge Battery Metals. Greg, great to have you with us. How are you? Thanks, Michael. I'm doing great. Glad to be here. It's a pleasure to have you here, Greg, and very excited to learn more about the company and what your mission is. Can you start by telling our listeners about Surge Battery Metals? What does the company do? Okay, well, Surge is a Canadian public company listed on the Canadian Venture Exchange, as well as the U.S. OTC markets. We're an early exploration mining company, and as the title of the company uh, tells you, we focus on battery metals. Uh, in, that, in that domain, we've got uh, two nickel projects uh, in British Columbia and three lithium projects in the state of Nevada. Terrific. Now, it sounds like, obviously, from all of this, Surge is well diversified. You're operating in several importantly well-known and mining-friendly jurisdictions. But before we get into the details of those exploration projects, can you give us some background on your experience, your work history on a personal level? Uh, sure, Michael. I spent uh, 21 years of my career in the provincial government here in British Columbia, Canada, and that's uh, equivalent to the, to the state government in, in the U.S. The last five years of that, uh, that career I spent as the Deputy Minister of uh, Energy, Mines and Petroleum Resources. And so that's the most senior bureaucrat in the department. So in that capacity, I dealt with uh, uh, electricity policy, mining policy, uh, oil and gas policy, generally energy and mining related uh, activities. Uh, from there, I went on to be the Executive Vice President of Transmission and Distribution at, uh, at BC Hydro. BC Hydro is the electric utility here in, in British Columbia. Uh, I looked after the, uh, the Transmission and Distribution Network. Um, I spent uh, six years on the board of the Canadian Electricity Association. I was also six years on the board of the Western Energy Council and chair of that council uh, for a year. So I've got a lot of uh, energy and mining background in my, uh, in my career as well as focusing on, uh, as I said, electricity policy and alternative energy and things like that. Wonderful. Okay, so with that being said, and, and considering your experience here, you'd certainly understand mining policy, the benefit of green electricity, obviously big topics. So can you tell us how you came across Surge Battery Metals? What attracted you to this particular company? Well, I think, I think there were two things, really. I mean, first of all, the space that we're in, in terms of exploring for battery metals. We're all keenly aware of what's going on in the world in terms of, of climate change. And and reduction of emissions and, and whatnot. And so there's a big push, of course, to reduce emissions from transportation. And that's led to the increase in development and production of uh, electric vehicles all over the world. And we've seen that increase significantly. So with that, of course, comes a, a focus on, on batteries and the, and the metals that, uh, that go into those batteries. So, you know, I thought that with my experience in terms of electricity and alternative energy, you know, I felt that this was a, a great fit. Um, as well, the projects that we have are excellent projects, the Nickel Project in British Columbia, as well as the, uh, the lithium projects in Nevada. Excellent. Okay, so we understand that with the three separate lithium exploration projects in Nevada, can you prioritize uh, the focus and what's going on with those projects? Sure, we've got three projects in Nevada, our, our Northern Nevada project, we've got uh, a project in uh, the San Medio Valley, and we've got another project in the Teals Marsh area. Our focus uh, this past year has been in the Northern Nevada area. We did a lot of uh, soil sampling uh, on our project there, and we returned surface samples uh, that had very significant parts per million results, uh, up to 5,120 parts per million with, with a lot of other uh, samples, you know, between 1,000 and 2,000 parts per million. So from there, you know, we, we staked additional property, took some additional samples. We, we uh, put out those results to the market, obviously, and uh, a lot of people have had a, had a look at them. We've, we've had a visit from a, uh, a large auto manufacturer. So as a result, we, uh, we decided to uh, take that next step to go from surface exploration to, to drilling some holes. Uh, we felt there was no reason why you know, the uh, results that we've seen at the surface uh, wouldn't be uh, at greater depths, but uh, obviously wanted to, to prove that. And so uh, we went forward with that uh, exploration program and uh, we've just received the results of our, our first hole and uh, it was about 270 feet. And uh, through six uh, samples throughout that hole, it's uh, returned uh, parts per million of uh, 1,790 to 4,500 with an average of around uh, 3,000 parts per million. So we have the, uh, the other seven results uh, off uh, for testing. And, uh, you know, we're really looking forward to, uh, to getting those results and, and, and seeing, you know, what's, uh, what's available in the rest of the property. 
We've got a, a good team working down there. We've got a very seasoned uh, geologist. The property in the area are uh, are in uh, in an area where uh, where resources are are, are plentiful and, and infrastructure is nearby. So all in all, we're very very excited about the project and and as I said, look forward to further results. Absolutely. Okay, let's switch gears a little bit and talk about the sudden demand over the past few years, the sudden demand for lithium and the EV revolution. It seems to have been started by the visionary Elon Musk. Um, tell us a little bit about the situation there and what you've seen going on. Well, we've all seen the, the increase for electric vehicles as a result of climate change. And I spoke earlier about that. This in turn, of course, has placed a significant demand on the battery metals that, that make up lithium batteries. Auto manufacturers, manufacturers are designing and manufacturing uh, additional vehicles uh, to be able to provide to the demand that, uh, that the public is, uh, is making. Governments are focusing on uh, restricting policies to, uh, in terms of the manufacture of uh, internal combustion engines. We've uh, seen California take that step with, uh, with outlying uh, internal combustion engine uh, manufacture for passenger vehicles by 2035. But that, that isn't a surprise. The, the, the manufacturers understood that this is the direction that, uh, that we're all going in the world and uh, have been uh, planning for that for, for some time. So worldwide battery or estimates for, for batteries are that these battery metals are, uh, you know, can't keep up with demand or in short supply. And so we feel that we're very well positioned uh, in terms of the resources that we have to help meet that demand and respond uh, to the markets. Got it. Now, another minor shift of gears here, Joe Biden's recent Inflation Reduction Act. How has that helped the EV auto industry and the battery metals explorers, such as Surge Battery Metals specifically? Yeah, this is, uh, is very interesting and, and very helpful to, uh, to the battery metal market and, and Surge in particular. And it's, it's recent in, in terms of coming out in the last few months. And so what that uh, legislation does is provides for a rebate where a percentage of the, the materials uh, used in, in producing the electric vehicle are sourced in North America and used in the manufacture of the electronic electric vehicle. This focuses battery metal exploration a lot more in North America. And, um, you know, the idea, of course, is to reduce the dependence on, on foreign sources where a lot of the uh, battery metals such as lithium uh, are, are mined. So with our projects in Canada and the U.S., we qualify. And uh, this will provide an additional focus uh, for our exploration results. Wonderful. Okay, let's revisit the most recent drill results from your Nevada North project. How do they result, uh, or how do these results rather compare to other lithium clay projects in Nevada from other producers? Well, you know, we've received uh, the results from one drill hole, and we're very, very excited about that. And so we've looked at the results of this hole and compared it to, to other companies' lithium results generally uh, in Nevada. And uh, we're in good company, you know, we're at the kind of upper end of uh, those results competing with, uh, with the companies that have got the best results. So we're really looking forward, as I said, to, to getting the results for those other seven holes. And uh, we're excited about the future. Wonderful. A lot of really good information here. It's been an absolute pleasure learning more about the company. Greg Reimer, President and CEO of Surge Battery Metals. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thanks, Michael.